the gravity, so that this this mass this system move top on the on the uh, uh, vertically, then it just behave like move in space. So how can you design a mechanism? This is what we call long circular disc uh, with the torsional spring spring, so that this is counterbalance the whole system, so that the it's just like a massless, uh, weightless uh, system. So, well, I, I don't think we need to uh, explain too much for this. Then, this is another design we call 3D active suspension system because in space, if you have a robot arm, then how can you perform control experiment? How can you maneuver a robot arm on ground, uh, but simulate the, the robot arm move in space. That means we have to have a, a suspension system to counterbalance the weight of the arm of the robot. That's the way, uh, if you can see it here, there's a robot arm here. Uh, I'll be showing you the, uh, some of the movie. Uh, this is, uh, you know, more than 20 years ago movie. Uh, that time, you know, we don't have a digital computer, uh, uh, camera for that. Um, if you look at this, whatever the, the robot arm is moving, there's a controller behind uh, the suspension system so that when they move, they will, they will, they will move with now we have another uh, we call control structure interactions uh, problem. All right. This is the antenna, big antenna here. If you look at this, uh, these pictures here, and uh, this represent antenna. The reason is this: we try to do. If you look at this system as a space station, for example, and it has an antenna in there. Now, how can I uh, the, uh, move the antenna so that the antenna will face to the target as quick as expected? And also, the whole system is a flexible system. In other words, the antenna is a flexible system, and the uh, space station itself is a flexible system. So, the objective is to design a controller to suppress a structural vibration, because every time you move your antenna a little bit, your whole structure is moving, is vibrating. So if when we move the antenna, if we move the antenna, then we hope that we have a controller to stabilize the whole system. Now, there's a, a word here called optimum second order controller. Uh, this is the a controller design that we will also uh, teach in this class for you to learn how you can use a we call second order controller uh, to uh, control the system to point to the target as required by the mission. So this is the, uh, the, the another one uh, uh, called the uh, system in NASA. Okay, now, this is it. All right, all right, and here, 
Here is the just a sketch of that antenna. Uh, there's a laser uh, source on the top of this uh, beam, and this uh, this uh, truss structures, and this laser will uh, shoot to the antenna here. There's an antenna here. Uh, you can see the antenna, and then reflect to the target here on the top, and this is the target. All right. Now, because the structure itself is a flexible structure, so that when you have a laser uh, started from the, this point, and uh, then reflect from this point to the top, to the top target, then it won't be very precise. And this antenna is a 50 meter antenna, a diameter antenna, and this the structure itself is about 55 feet long and 52 feet long, uh, 9.2 feet tall and 700 pounds and so on. And there's a, a suspension system here. Okay. okay, now this is to test, we call real-time adaptive control. And what do we mean real-time adaptive control? In real-time adaptive control means we have online adaptive identification and control. Now, some of you uh, might take my class last semester. Anybody here? No, right? That's the system ID. That means because we don't know the model itself, we have to depend on the system ID to create a model for us to do the controller design. Now, how can we do that? And this is showing you how to do that. All right? And then I'm going to show you Later on, there's a, a lot of other things I can show you, but here I can show you called real-time adaptive control. And if you look at carefully here, this excitation here, that means this, if you, you have excitation in this system, then it vibrates like this. If you turn on controller, and then there will, there will be very small motion here. If you turn, turn control off, then your vibration come in, All right? Now, this is a, a, a system just try to uh, uh, to show 